to uh, finish off, um, I was really interested and I uh, appreciate um, our colleague here talking about uh, the littering and the garbage and the dumping. Um, that's a huge passion of mine for the last 10 plus years um, and a huge um, eyesore and one of my biggest pet peeves driving along the highway and especially now driving back and forth to Fredericton and seeing the trash along the road is um, I want to stop every time and <laughs> spend half an hour picking it up. Uh, we worked hard in the last few years and especially just in the last couple of putting things together uh, at home um, with Adopt the Highway. I've been pushing that a lot. We had a huge crew of 15 and 20 people last year to get out. Um, I figure we did somewhere between 15 and 20 kilometers um, in the city and along the highways of, of picking up trash and uh, we were able to get a and, and still growing and get a great crew to help. So, um, you know, it's fantastic. We have a team up to clean up that they do every year, which is a great initiative that the city started uh, with Town Ford and, and many people have been jumping on board. Um, and then with, um, with the adopt the highway signs, um, we've been, like I say, we've been trying to push that. Uh, my cousin and I have one kilometer of Highway 11 and we just recently took the whole bypass from Chatham to Nelson of seven kilometers uh, after seeing uh, Patty Quinn and, and uh, Darcy McLaughlin do that. So I think they're all great initiatives to, uh, to help. Um, is there, we used to see a lot of signs like no dumping or um, finding for litter and, and stuff like that. Um, is that still a push? You don't see as many? Is there, is there anything to deter that from happening or to, uh, to press for bigger fines towards that? I'd like to say thanks for your interest and support on this. We mentioned it earlier, earlier as well and adopt the highway and COVID is a little bit different as well. People who wanted to pick up rotary clubs, you know, high school classes, whatever, kind of on hold. But what I will tell you, and, and uh, we mentioned earlier as well, the department has purchased 1,500 signs which will be posted this summer in problem areas for illegal dumping. So same, it'll, it'll address that as well. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for that. And uh, perfect, it's a, it's a great initiative and, uh, and uh, eventually it all leads into the streams and waterways. So besides just being a, an eyesore, it certainly uh, goes above and beyond that too. So it's, it's really good. Um, the the uh, Pesticide Advisory Committee last met in 2009. Is there any intent from the department to utilize this committee uh, given the big, hu the, uh, a huge concern over the public? Yes, we've had initial meetings with departments with the plan to reconvene the advisory board. The timeline set, or do we know when that'll happen? Yes, there's a process to appoint the advisory board. And we hope to have that board in place uh, certainly by the year end, and hopefully sooner. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, that's, that's great to hear. Um, there's a new budget item for 365,000 called Waste Diversion, and it focuses on waste reduction. Can you explain a little bit about that program and, uh, and what it'll do? The, the money you mentioned, the 265,000, uh, this amount reflects uh, mostly salaries and uh, some of the projects that were related to waste uh, diversion, such as uh, packaging and paper product recycling, beverage container program, and single-use plastics. Perfect, thank you for that. Um, does the DOE water monitoring program test for the presence of glyphosate? Uh, we test for a variety of things. However, we don't specifically test for glyphosate. Okay, and um, uh, with your uh, pesticide advisory board, um, how will they interact with, with our uh, standing committee's investigation on glyphosate? Will there be any connection or? Last year, the uh, department did present on pesticides to the standing committee. And should the standing committee want to discuss this further, we'd be happy to participate. Okay, that would be, uh, that would be fantastic um, with, you know, so much uh, public concern and uh, and the science behind it, it, it uh, the more we look into it, the better for sure. Um, I think that concludes my questions. I wanna thank the minister um, 